the person was sick or died my god it has happened to me not once or twice especially when i was new back in those days hi hi everyone i'm faith revis from east africa kenya currently working at saudi arabia thank you guys for your support my returning subscribers and my viewers i'm really grateful may our dear lord bless you all in case this is your first time you come across this channel kindly support me by watching my videos like comment share and subscribe and also remember to turn on notification bell and welcome to today's vlog of what i acquired at saudi arabia on my first six months on my first two years contract yeah, i worked here for the last five years yeah and so far so good i thank god um i can't complain i just thank god and welcome to today's vlog Another thing about emotional sadness, this is kind of sad, and which is very true. My God, there are some, these people, they, they are happy. Majority of them are happy when we have sad news from our, back to our countries. Maybe you are given a sad news. My God. Maybe you, you especially now, social media, it's very good and somehow bad. Why? You will find someone from close to you have passed away or very sick at hospital. And you find someone had rumors about that person and posted. The family members are they, they are afraid because they know you are far and maybe you know you are someone who had bad news and you are just shocked. They try to find a way to try to talk to you, but you find someone, it has happened to me. They go to post on Facebook, oh rest in peace my dear, bra bra bra, oh quick recovery. And you never know that person was sick or died. My God, it has happened to me, not once or twice, especially when I was new, back in those days. It has happened to me. The family members did not tell me, or some people who are close, they try to not, yani, they try to find a way to tell me, but you find someone strange from nowhere, they just have already posted. Because if someone pass, the news go all over. And maybe someone is your neighbor, or very neighbor or some friend they just post on social media tell me how will you take it no one in your family told you about it you show you you saw it on social media and you never knew that person was sick or you knew she he or she she was sick but you did not expect the person to be dismiss to pass away my god it has happened to me even if maybe it's not a family member someone who is very close to me my god that moment the moment you open at facebook you find this in this so and so quick recovery maybe it's a very bad accident the person who had to because you are shocked your face will automatically change and sometimes even we cry because you are being you are you are shocked you are emotional no one is there for you you ask yourself so many questions you are far away you can do nothing maybe they found you you are crying or they see you are emotional and they will ask you what's happening What's wrong? Try which fee? Which fee your fee? Which fee? Karam Anna, Karam Anna, which fee? They are like, 
What's wrong? Talk to us. We are only people around you. Talk to us. Now you think they are very... I don't say they are any. You think they are very kind and caring about you. My God. Majority of them. They will come here close to you. They will hug you and do this. Okay. After there, you will have them discussing. My God. They will... She, they can even call. Hey, their grandmother have passed away. Hey, they have lost their so and so. She's emotional. The person who was soothing you or hugging you. What is that? That is inhuman. I condemned that. That evil. Because that's inhuman. You better assume you can't see I'm, I'm sad or I'm emotional. You pretend how you are. You can care about me, but the moment you are done with me, even the five seconds is not over. Hey, you said the whole, the loud voice, she told his, she's speaking about that thing. My God, who do that as a good person? Who do that? It hurts, but what can we do? You have to be strong for yourself. Now, I try to hide my emotion, even if I'm sad, totally sad, totally sad. I go in my room, if I don't have a private room, I will go to cry and to mourn that person at washrooms. Trust me or believe me, believe me not. That's how I normally do. These people are kind of like inhuman yeah that's how we those are the things we pass here yeah they don't care about us but the moment they are they got something someone is sick or someone is dead or someone has something good to them even if someone is sick and is not that serious disease here comes that crying for you i am sick I am but for us, they don't care. If I come, the moment I run that, I tell somebody, oh, sorry for his rose or for her rose. And if someone come and tell me I'm sick, I tell them, quick recovery. And that is it, because they don't care about us. I would say, I would sit a jitesa tena, sit a I will never, yes, I can, but I will never enter in someone's shoes who don't care about me. I'm very far from my country, my people, but I have to be strong for myself. I'm a human being with bad situation like yours, with body parts and with weaknesses and who can get sick and also who get emotional, who is hard pain when I'm sick. Yeah, but they assume as we don't, if you get sick, they assume. Now, I came to learn how to hide my emotion, my sadness. Even if I'm very sad, sad, I got a bad news. I try as much as I can or I could to hide my sadness, emotion. Yes, me. Another thing I acquired uh, is about money discipline. As we know, we are working. And we are not that paid so much. It's just to sustain our our basic need and our needs. So I check I, I try as much as possible to spend less and save more. Also, there are some this bad habit so tempting. When you go outside, you want to go some you go you go you if you got a chance clothes, nice shoes, something calling you, handbags, you know girls we have those weakness. You want to, every time, every day you want to, to see some you need to buy new things. You want to now buy new shoes, new clothes, new handbag, makeups, those people who do makeups. They are very they are very legit things here. 
and also they are very unique so you have that you want to buy everything you will feel you want to buy everything and they are expensive compared to our to our countries these here they are expensive but they are legit they are here it's legit it's original and it will take you yani it will give you a good service it will give you service but they keep on calling your name when you go there on the shops i came to understand i'm wasting my money and these things i'm not using them here i reuse them the moment i go back to my country and i don't need them so much so i keep discipline on that buying things which i have not planned for i buy things which i need not what i want yeah you have to have a lot of discipline even if you got something which is very nice don't buy because you see it buy because you need it i buy because i need that something i don't buy because i want it or return everything i see yeah another thing is about relationship discipline my god my dear sister there my brother <laughs> The most common thing happens to us here women or female female or men why because we are working here we don't have that we don't have that, have that freedom to go and prosper the outside and explore the world and meet new friends people you meet them on train we don't is you are very lucky yani you found that day you will call it a rocky day if you are walking on the street you found someone from your country or from your continent now we meet on the on the on the social medias and someone can mistake you and think now i have seen a girl there i love her i see a man there i love him oh my god that is a scam most of the girls Major, majority of them or the men people who are dating online it's the riskiest thing you could ever do my sister or my brother my friend there can you just wait and go and date at your country 1% 2% 100% 5% which are true but they are not written in their faces I'm a true love. I'm not a scammer. Someone will see, show you, you upload your your photo, you posted your photo on social media, FB, Facebook, and so Instagram, whatever, and then they say, hey, this girl had money. Now he will scam you and tell you, hey, babe, love. I hate those words. <laughs> I hate those words. Now. The moment you enter in his in his trap, he will start telling you, hey, and they pretend I was I'm working with this and this company. Later, after chatting, then they will tell you, can you assist me with money? I don't know, I don't, I have an emergency. Where were you? Emergency? Am I a, an emergency? Emergency? And you just met the other. After two days or one week, they started speaking about money. My sister ran, ran. Ukipata na mna mtu kama uyo, ran with your feet. Broke that person. Don't, don't ever engage yourself with such issues. You will be caught and you will never find that person. Most of people, they got numerous accounts and they will post different photos. And they will scam you. Wengine huh? wanapost the wazungu. Ana kuongeresha. Ukimongeresha kikuyu ana kutusi. How does a white person know kikuyu or you are a native language? The scammers are there. Also, you, you girls are coming for you, not only men. Also girls, they are scamming men. They could charge, talk to them. Because they see someone profile and see this person is in Gulf countries majority of people have been called there are people who are in Gulf countries and they know it's kind of they are desperate and they start sweet talking to them squeezy mafisi ni wengi 
mafisi mafisi na fees rate kwanza mafees rate they are so many so majority of people girls or women they see this guy is working at dubai is working at qatar in gulf countries now he will want to scam that person and pretend he's in love with him and then he cheated he started like intimacy with him then the man will be trapped will be trapped after being trapped my my brother he would be caught by that lady and maybe she's someone's wife or she have children she want you to take care but she told you i'm not married i don't have children tashanga you would be surprised finding she have big boys almost your age ameosha ametomo na 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 ametomo ametomo na stima huku anakaa kasichana na ni mzee mama mzee shauri yako oh someone instead we dating but she seems started in interested with your pocket be wise be wise so i got that this spring about i don't have that time for being babed for being a no mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. if i want i know where i could find them and i know yeah let me not talk about that so my sister be wise there out there or my brother even now men have been called online a girl came and start telling you my shidazake they told you hey i'm passing this through this i'm passing through can you please send me some money please help me god will help you that's how they normally narrate <laughs> later on na watumia they will block you immediately and you will have never met my brother or my sister never sent anyone even a five bob or as never sent in one money in the name of love <laughs> if you want to help someone help out of a good way or a good intentionally but not for love love imeumiza watu love to have had yani to have made people to kill themselves others be have been really had broken but zingine ni za kujiletea others you are the one who want that because of the time you you are going to date somebody or pretend you love the person you have never met who do that are you crazy i it does not work like that take your time work because it's the work brought you here when you go back to your country go and take that time and get married if you want lakini mambo mengine achana nayo tafadhali takusaidie takuletea heart diseases it will bring you heart diseases just concentrate with what brought you here the rest of dramas if then if then please even if you are younger there especially younger and young women we see now this is our time we are the ones saying my friend you are not the first one to be there and you are not the last one so be wise know what you are doing and do what brought you here Yeah we don't want dramas or people every time dramas on social medias. Yeah guys I want to wrap up my video here. Thank you for watching me. I'm really grateful may our dear Lord bless you. Please tell me whether you have those challenges or you you acquire such such things like emotional orders. I know there is someone there have ever passed such challenges especially on sad moments or when you are really enjoy when you happy or surprised it's like a trap let's discuss or suggest in on a commenting section let us know to our story your story yeah